What's up guys? Today I want to talk about the things that I hate about living in Colombia. Obviously, just like anywhere else in the world, it has its pros and cons. And the first thing I want to talk about is the unpunctuality of the people. This is something that I heard is just a part of Colombian culture that literally bugs me every single time. I am a very punctual person and I do a lot of business. So when it comes to business, I always try to arrive in time. But it's very normal if you have a business meeting that people arrive 10, 15 minutes late, sometimes up to an hour late. And it's just part of the culture. And that's not everybody. There are some people that are pretty punctual. My employees, thankfully, always arrive on time. But I've gotten pretty annoyed at some people that I've tried to meet up with because almost always they arrive late. Another frustration I have is the diversity of the food or the lack thereof. If you go up to the coast, coconut rice is really, really good. But for the most part, especially here in the Paisa region, the food is not very diverse. You have pretty much meat, potatoes, and corn, and a bunch of variations of that. For my restaurant, we're doing pretty well, but it's taking a while for people to get used to the idea of what Asian food food is because to them Asian food is just like rice in quantity and that's not to say that Colombian food isn't good but it's just not very diverse something else that's also very frustrating about Colombia is the roads and the infrastructure I don't know where the money goes but a lot of the roads here are really poorly maintained a lot of places are filled of potholes look this this is normal for Colombian roads. In Medellin, I think it's a little better. Still, if you walk around, you're gonna notice that a lot of the sidewalks, all of the roads are all pretty messed up. Also, as someone who's a business owner, it's extremely difficult trying to find good employees. I think I've had like 15, 20 employees. In that time, I've found pretty good ones, but I'm always constantly going through employees because either they won't show up, they'll show up extremely late. One day they'll be working for me and then the next day they just decide to quit and leave. There is a stereotype that a lot of Colombians are lazy. And I actually think this is true. Sometimes the Spanish is very, very difficult to understand. Paisa Spanish, Spanish from the coast, they're all extremely different. Paisa Spanish is easier to understand, but it has a lot more slang. Whereas the coastal Spanish, man, that shit is almost impossible to understand. Also, this complaint is more towards Manizales, but it also happens in Medellin. Here in Manizales, it will rain literally within like an hour's notice. So right now, it, there's the sun's out. But in an hour, it could be raining like super, super hard, and then it will be sun again. Same as kind of in Medellin, you never really expect when it's gonna rain. So it's really hard to plan something sometimes because you'll have plans to go out, and then all of a sudden it will rain and all your plans are destroyed. Also, this is a plus or a minus. It depends on what kind of person you are. Paisa culture is extremely superficial and the beauty standard and the beauty culture here is really strong. I think it's a strength because the women always like to take care of themselves, but it's a minus because especially more so in Medellin, people are extremely superficial. And you can see in the relationships that the women are really done up, but they don't really have any substance and the men are only looking for the women for looks. Another frustration I have with Colombia is that the customer service is usually pretty trash. It depends on where you're at Clemens are pretty good at arguing their case just know like on a basic level the service here is pretty terrible at my restaurant we charge for propina or like tip so you know I try to get my employees to be really good servers but in general the service here is pretty garbage and speaking of that there's a lot of bureaucracy here as well it's like all of the government organizations are all separate from different governments for example let's say you want to call Tigo because you have a problem with your internet you're gonna be put on hold for like 30 minutes trying to talk to a bunch of different people just to get one thing sorted out one time here for some reason Tigo came and they cut my internet and I was at without internet for like a week and a half and I called and I called and I called and so many different people came and once they couldn't fix the problem they're like oh we need to come back with a different team not to mention government organizations like if you're trying to renew your visa or different parts of the government anything like that you're gonna have to jump through a bunch of hoops to figure out exactly where you need to go because it's really hard sometimes to find like a clear answer of what you need to do well, I'm a huge fan of public transportation here in Colombia something that I've talked about in another video is that it's very insecure public buses are pretty secure but I've heard stories of women where they'll be in the bus and the guy behind them will be masturbating so that's definitely have happened before but overall i would say public transportation is pretty safe even though in medellin the metro can get a little sketchy sometimes so another complaint that i have is that colombia is very inefficient for example when they're doing construction the construction takes forever I feel like they either have too little help or too many people, but it never gets done on time. When people are gonna come to your house to do work, they give you a time period of like five hours. So you gotta be ready from seven in the morning to 12 noon, they're gonna stop by your house. It's really annoying. And delivery times for things is just, it's pretty inefficient and annoying too. Like they'll never come. When they say it'll always be later, things are almost always late here. Hola, buenas, come on. Yeah. 
Ciao. Hello. So I just went to the dentist, and something that I do really like about Colombia is the healthcare here is actually pretty solid, and it's pretty cheap for us. I just don't understand how Colombians can afford it because, like, for us, it's like half the price, but for them, it's like quadruple the price. It's about to rain again. It was sun like an hour ago and it's about to rain again, I told you. So you'll hear online that here in Colombia people treat foreigners pretty well and that's true, but also not true. It's kind of like that fake nice where people want something from you and you'll notice that in Medellin, everybody will want to get to know you, but they don't necessarily have the best intentions. A lot of times they're nice to you because they want to befriend you so they can get your business or they can offer something to you. And that goes to how a lot of people here try to scam foreigners. When they know you're a foreigner, they will try to offer you a higher price. They will try to scam you like what happened with the real estate agency. And that's why people say like gringo prices because it's actually true. But it's also because a lot of the foreigners here don't really understand what it's, how do I explain it? A lot of foreigners complain about like getting charged gringo prices which I can understand, but also a lot of gringos don't really take the time to learn about the culture and learn the language. So if you don't really want to learn the language, I don't think you're entitled to earning prices like a local. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to negotiate for yourself. I was talking to my buddy. He was telling me that he got into a car accident because he was a foreigner. Police asked him to like shrug it off because it's like, hey, you have money, right? You're a foreigner. So I can understand why that would be frustrating. But yeah, so like a general tip, if you want to get good prices, you have to learn to haggle and that requires you to learn Spanish. Like I always say on my channel, things are getting a little more expensive right now in Colombia for food wise. It's still cheap like to our standards, but after living here, I've definitely noticed that the prices have gone up as well. And that's another point. I want to talk about the inflation. Inflation this year has been super, super bad. If you live here in Colombia as like an American, the prices are super good for us when it comes to healthcare, when it comes to food, when it comes to anything. But now that I know how much Colombians make, I can't believe the price of some things, man. It's, it's pretty unbelievable. So I would say as far as cost goes, living here is definitely cheaper. If you're an American, you're probably going to spend like a thousand dollars in a month. And that's for a really nice apartment. And if you cook quite frequently, but even if you go out to eat, you know, like going out to eat costs about four or five dollars for lunch and then 10 bucks for dinner. But I feel like that's probably like a whole world thing right now because inflation in the States is pretty bad as well. Oh yeah, and Colombians have like a really bad habit of staring. It's pretty common. It's just a part of their culture. For us, you know, Asians, staring is rude, but because I'm an Asian guy here in Manizales, people are always staring at me. When I have a mask on, they'll look at my eyes and they'll stare at me. Now that I don't wear mask when I walk around, I get scared, stared at all the time. And it's just it's just a part of the territory. A lot of times like Colombians will be chilling on the street, drinking, talking, and they'll just stare at the people that walk by. It's normal. So I got bananas, an avocado, a mango, strawberries, onion, bell pepper, and a tomato. And all that costs 13 mil, which comes out to around three, a little over $3. Never seen but it's never seen but. So these are the things that I don't like about living here in Colombia. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll catch you later. Peace.